Rules Make Life Work by Barbara L. Luciano. Rules help us get along. They help us work and play. And we can see these two girls and they're playing a game together and it makes them happy as they take turns. There are rules at home and at school. There are rules for riding the bus. So to get on a bus, they would be need to be in a straight line. And when they get on the bus, they need to stay in their seat. And hopefully sometime you'll be able to take a field trip where we go somewhere and we take a bus and we're gonna learn all the rules for riding a bus. A rule at school might be to share a book. Sharing is fair and helps you learn. So these two kids are sharing a book together, looking through the pages and maybe taking turns reading. You might have rules about helping at home. Everyone can help do chores and jobs. So this little girl, it looks like one of her chores is to help fold the clothes. Maybe at home you might help with the dishes or help set the table. I know when I was little, my job was to set the table and then clear the table when we were done eating. Your teacher might have a rule that tells you to listen. Listening helps you learn and get along with others. So when we do go back to the classroom, we're going to learn, learn all different types of rules in the classroom. Rules help you stay safe. One of the rules is to not run in the classroom because you could fall and get hurt. So a lot of rules are just to help you stay safe. What are some rules that you follow? How do they help you? So we need to get along with others and take turns. If we all are trying to get to the water at one time, you don't want to be pushing your friends or hurting your friends. So you just wait nice in a nice line and then you'll get your turn. So I have an attachment here that they're going to be doing this page. So um, you're going to do this on the um, attached paper and the very top part, the title says, why do we follow rules? And it says, we follow rules at school. So there's a number one box at the top and number two at the bottom. And the top one, the children are going to draw a rule that they have. Let's do it at home. Can you draw a rule at home? And then on the bottom, you're gonna draw something that might happen if you break the rule at home, okay? So I know it says rules at school, but I think we're going to um, just switch that to rules at home. 